I just like the sound. Hey yo, what's good on squad? Welcome back to our sneakers. So today, I'm finally bringing you guys a sneaker that I've been waiting on for a lifetime. I had them one time in my collection, but unfortunately, I had to sell them because they were size 7, grade school size. I feel like they didn't have the value that the dull sizes would have, so I had to get me this sneaker. I know it's still sitting on shelves in some stores, but I just had to get it because it's always been a hot sneaker for me. It's like a space jam to me. It's like a bread, not a bread toe, but the bread ones. It's like a very iconic shoe. So I was like, you know what? I have to get this sneaker. There's no way I could pass up on it. In this box, obviously, there's size 8. Comment down below if you guys already know what shoe this is. I'm pretty sure most of you guys do, like I said. But anyways, here it is, guys. Most of you guys could have guessed it. This sneaker just released last Saturday. I think it was February 17th. And this was a really anticipated sneaker release when they announced it, which was back last year in 2017. I don't remember exactly which month. I think it was in November. But when I heard that they were dropping these, I was so excited because I knew that... I would finally get my pair. I think the last time they dropped these were back in 2011, if I'm not mistaken. Correct me if I'm wrong, it might have been 2012, but I'm pretty sure it was 2011. They didn't come with the Nike Air on the back. And that's one huge reason I was really excited for these because I knew they would have the Nike Air on the back. Lately, Nike has been putting Nike Air on the back because they know this sells more than just a Jumpman. So they're smart in that aspect because they know they'll sell out more, but it isn't a true OG. It's like a retro OG but I don't really care because this sneaker is super hot. I've been wanting this sneaker forever. And like I said, I had them in size seven before. I bought them secondhand and I just don't like buying things used. I like to buy them brand new. Maybe some things here and there I'll buy used, but for the most part, I like to have them brand new. I like to have that feel of having that brand new sneaker that I've never had in my collection before. And this is my first adult size. The reason adult sizes are better than grade school sizes is because the grade school sizes sometimes miss out on little details. I don't know exactly what it is on this shoe, but I can tell you that this shoe is actually up to his expectations as far as what I thought would be on it. I honestly thought the quality would be a lot worse on these since they are making so many Jordans nowadays, but it is actually really good compared to what I thought it was going to be. But that being said, there is still some factory flaws. Like, let me show you guys one on the toe right here, on the tongue actually. I don't know if you guys can see that crease. I'm, I think you guys can see it from a distance. Look at the crease right there. I know it's something so little, but that's a factory defect. On another pair that I was going to get from Finish Line, that was originally where I was going to get them from because I walked right in and I had a pair sitting right on the shelf, size 8, just for me, last size, ready to be sold to me. It had some red on this lace right here. On both of them actually and i think it's because the glue or something got stuck on the lace and then it got stuck to the top of the midsole and it took off some of the material and it got stuck on the lace and i obviously wasn't gonna buy that because it would have had red stuff on the laces and you guys know me i'm really picky with my shoes the shoes have to be 100 when i buy them i have not I, I actually i have not worn these yet because i was waiting to do this video before i wore them so now after today i'm finally gonna wear them unfortunately the price was pretty steep it was 200 dollars. and back then when these dropped first and uh, not first but when they dropped in 2011 i think they went for like 160 somewhere around there maybe 170 now they're 200 dollars for jordan threes and the quality is worse but like i say in all my jordan videos every time i talk about jordan they do raise their prices to make up for the quantity that they're making because they know they're not going to sell out all their quantities even though these for the most part sold out in the majority of the stores all over the world if you guys missed out on these don't be bummed out because first of all the resale is pretty low on them they're not going over 250 and if they are you're getting ripped off you should be paying retail plus shipping on these maybe a little more if that person wants to make money maybe ten dollars twenty dollars max the shipping on these is twenty dollars the profit that the person is going to make is twenty dollars so it's two hundred and forty dollars if they charge 250 that's the max you should be paying but no more than that make sure you don't pay more than 250 for these because it's not worth it if you really look and try hard enough somebody will be willing to let these go for retail if anything because I'm pretty sure a lot of people thought they were gonna sell out and they were gonna resell for a good price since it is a black cement three. This is such an iconic shoe. But at this point, they're probably sitting on them because they're still in stores, like I said, or they're probably returning them to the stores. So if you missed out, go to your local Champs, Foot Action, Foot Locker, Finish Line, whatever store you have around you that sells sneakers. And I'm pretty sure that they will still have this in stock. Anyways, there's enough talking about reselling on the sneaker. What I wanted to get to was the details as I was saying at first, but then I got a little sidetracked. The material on the inside isn't too bad. It's a little fuzzy, but that's how it is. It really just gives that antique look to it. And then you have this leather. I think it's pigskin leather, but it's not. I don't I don't know what you call this leather. When it's on Jordan 1s, they always call it pigskin leather. But this one's not as soft as that leather. If it was, I think that would make this shoe that much better. But the quantity is obviously so high, so they weren't going to do that. This is regular leather right here. It actually looks really smooth, so I like that about that. The elephant print on it, I feel like the black is a little bit gray. Usually, they are really dark and black when you, they have the elephant print on Jordan 3s. But I'm not complaining about that. Over time, as I wear it, it's probably going to get dirty anyway, so it doesn't even matter. The paint job on this, you can see the street obviously the streaks is always something you can see lately on Jordans at least 
the more quantity ones. And when you get to this head right here, you can see they didn't do such a good job. You can see it's kind of like swivelly right there. That's just little details that I look at when I get a sneaker. Especially when I look at Nike sneakers nowadays, I like to look at all the details to see where they mess up on. I'm not trying to call them out or anything, but it's something they have to work on because we're paying so much for sneakers nowadays. Sneakers are honestly a ridiculous price nowadays. Like today, the blank canvas human races dropped and honestly Adidas is 100% with their quality. Like I cannot complain about what they sell. But the price point for the sneaker was pretty high. It was $250. That's a lot for a human race with a trail bottom, honestly. I don't even like the trail bottom. I just like the human race upper and then the regular outsole. The trail look that it has on the bottom doesn't really like, it's not that dope. I, don't really, I personally don't like it, but I'd wear it just because it is a human race. And I really wanted that sneaker, but they sold out. There's only like 1,500 pairs in the US. But anyways, going back to the sneaker that I have in my hand here. Going onto the midsole, you do have your Nike Air on the inside right there. I did already put tape on it just in case I was to wear it. And you guys know I always put tape on there so I don't wear off the, whatever you want to call it, I think laminate or the sticker, I'm just going to call it like a press, the sticker press in the midsole. As far as the material, the plastic goes right here, it has that really nice matte look. This one has a little scuff on it, I don't know from what, probably just a little factory defect, but regardless, I feel like somebody would have just came and stepped on the back of my shoe and made that line, so I don't really care. It's happened before on some other sneakers. I was bummed out because it was a fat scratch, but whatever, I don't have a sneaker anymore, so it doesn't matter. Going on to the outsole, you do have Nike on the bottom. I think that's normal, or sometimes they have a jump man. I don't know because I don't have any sneakers with this sole. But if it does have Nike, I'm pretty sure it has a jump man going in this direction. But I think they put Nike because it's a Nike Air. You have the red toe right here, then everything else is gray. You have your stars up here, and then you do have this white panel behind the Nike. And that's pretty much it for the shoe. Oh no, how can I forget? The air bubble, of course. This is a Nike Air sneaker, so it does have Nike Air on the heel. And I don't know if it's on the toe, but I know the Jordan 11s do have it on the toe. Personally, like the Air Technology, I don't find it that amusing or that comfortable. Boost is way better when it comes to comfort. But anyways, that pretty much sums up my thoughts and review on this sneaker. I absolutely love it. I am about to rock them. I was thinking about returning them because it's not really a hype sneaker, but I can't because it's so iconic to me. Like, I finally have this sneaker after so many years, and I don't want to, like, wait again for another release. And I'm pretty sure when they release it again, it won't have the Nike Air. And that's even if they release it. If they do release it, it'll probably be in 10 years from now. Honestly, I think Jordans are going to lose their value as far as like meaning goes because the generations are only going to get younger and they're getting further away from Jordan's time. So they won't really know the history of the sneaker culture. All they're going to know is really the hype beast stuff. And I'm not going to complain about that because that's life. Obviously, there's younger generations and they're not going to know what happened in the past unless they really do their research. But how many people are really going to do that? You know what I'm saying? Anyways, guys, that's pretty much it. I was going to do an on feed shot with these, but those videos nowadays don't really get that many views. But if you guys want me to do on feed shot, I will do just a video with on feed shot because I know a lot of people like to know how to rock their sneakers like with shorts, socks, pants, jorts, whatever kind of clothing it is. I know people like to know how to rock them. Like I said, if you guys really, really, really want me to make a video on on-feed shots, I will go out there somewhere, find a nice shot, find a nice background and take dope shots of these. As a matter of fact, I'm trying to get my art sneakers Instagram page up because I do want to post dope shots of sneakers. I have so many sneakers, but I have zero pictures with them and I want to be like one of those. I don't want to be one of the Instagram accounts, but I figured it'd be cool like and something to show you guys. It'd be a cool way to showcase to you guys my sneaker collection and I'll post one a day and eventually when I run out of things to post, then I'll start, I'm pretty sure I'll be buying sneakers here and there. And one thing I wanna say is, I think I said it already before, I don't really buy sneakers that much anymore because first of all, they're kinda hard to get now since I live in Tallahassee. Second of all, even online, they're hard to get. And third of all, my vision has changed a little bit as far as sneakers go. Like, I still love sneakers, don't get me wrong. I love the sneaker culture. I still want to be in it. I still want to go to all the events and stuff. But since I have came to FSU, I've thought more of investing into my future business. Because in the future, when I build up the capital, I will be able to have my businesses and also not have to worry about buying so many shoes. Like, I can buy whatever I want and not have a single problem with that. So that's the reason I really haven't been buying any shoes. And that's what's been making it a little hard to make these videos because I don't have the sneakers to personally show you guys. But lately, I've been working my butt off and everything I can just to get that capital so I can maintain myself and also make dope content for you guys because I know that's what you guys like to watch. Anyways, guys, I'm done ranting about that. I really don't want to talk about that too much because I don't want to feel like I'm asking you guys for anything. It's not the type of person I am. Everything depends on how hard I work. So in the end, I know it will pay off. So that being said, you guys know before I go, I always give a shout out to the fan of the day. And today's fan of the day goes to the gamer. If you want to be fan of the day, all you got to do is subscribe to this channel, turn your notifications on, and make sure you're one of the first people to comment on my latest video. And you will become fan of the day for the next video. Anyways, guys, if you guys did enjoy, make sure to smash that thumbs up button. Also, don't forget to subscribe. We are trying to get to 24,000 subscribers by the end of this month, which does end in five days. And I'm pretty sure we can do it because last night, I think we hit, well, actually, up to this point right now, we hit 23,805. So I'm pretty sure we can get to 195 subscribers in the next five days. I know you guys can make it happen, so I would really appreciate you guys if you guys share this video and also interact with it as much as you can. Anyways, guys, make sure you guys keep grinding. It's your boy, Sneaker signing out.